What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Snowcast Sports Talk Podcast, episode 55. Joined here by my co-host, my buddy Josh. How are we doing today, good sir? Doing fantastic, brother. I'm excited to uh, see more about what's going on with the Giants recently, and I heard that they recently got the playoffs, so pretty it's, excited about that. Dude, that's fucking amazing. It's it's awesome. Um, we've been we were sending messages to each other yesterday, and. Um, you know, I, I want to start. Let's let's start at the top here first. There's been a little bit of lack of content creation when it comes to the Giants stuff. So for anyone who doesn't know, Josh actually has his own YouTube channel where he does a let's play through different video games. And then Josh and I, he's been gracious gracious enough to come and help me. I've actually been streaming on Twitch again. So the Giants content has kind of lacked a little bit lately. Um, so first, it's just nice to be back doing this. But secondly, like Josh said, yeah, the Giants yesterday clinched the playoffs the six seeds so seven teams from each division get to go and the giants mathematically have clinched the sixth seed no matter what happens which is absolutely wow. amazing from a year ago doing the qb sneak on the third and nine with joe judge as our head coach to where we are now it's just crazy and i kind of want to build the stage a little the scene here you know we come into this game against the colts the colts are on a downward spiral they're having a tough season um their coach got fired. They brought in a new coach who was a player but never was a coach before. Either way, the Giants were supposed to win this game, and if we had won this game, we'd be going to the playoffs. That was the whole narrative. It's like, hey, win and in. That was like what the Giants media was posting. And so Josh hasn't seen the game yet. He knows the score, but yeah, l- let's get into the game and just do maybe a little bit of, um, of um, viewing on that end and just watch the game here. Sound like a plan? Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. So the Giants were at home, which is really cool, too. So we got Jones with the ball. Gotcha. Freaking dart. Ooh. Okay. Nice catch. It's a good start. This is our, uh, I think this is our first drive. Or maybe it's our second. Oh. <laughs> so close. Man. So close to the first Man. down. So third and six is where you make your money. Oh, oh man, that was close. It was close to an interception. It was Jeez. close to an interception. So now this is the first play for the defense. Oh, no, no, excuse me. Kayvon had a really nice play at the beginning, but it was just a run stuff. I didn't know if they'd show it. Oh, okay. So again, you Third can see. Third and eight, need to stop there. Yep. Nick Foles is looking. He's had all the time on the world. Oh, wow, what a bomb. And he caught it. Oh, my God, and they caught what is with that, man? So you can already see. had time. Yeah, the game starts off a little. Um, I saw Thibodeau hustle there. Uh, Thibodeau's motor, man. I, I don't know where that scouting report came from, but that scout needs to yeah. be fired. So we hold him. To a, <laughs> we hold him to a field goal, though. So we go down three nothing again. You can see down here they're four and ten. We're eight and six, and then the ties. Right. That's, that's a cool play, by the way. The Giants did this play a few times. So. Watch this play quickly. I just want to break this one down. So Saquon is obviously our running back one. He's our best running back. Right. So what it looks like is going to happen is Daniel Jones is going to fake it to Brita and then give it to Saquon. Kind of makes mm-hmm. sense. Saquon's like running around, and then Brita's mm-hmm. going to go up. But watch. Jones just gives it to Brita. But the defense, mm-hmm. these guys both think it's going to Saquon. And watch how far Brita goes up the hole. That's a great wow. play design. Really that cool play great design. Play. Great play. Second and five. Good on the offensive coordinator. Oh, he gets oh, the first. first down too. Nice. Love this play. Nothing's better than when your running back gets through the pocket and you have a big boy. Man, look at this. Look at how perfectly this is working. That's a great play design. That's very good play design. Great it run. Perfectly. So now we're in the red zone. Second down and nine. Ooh, Isaiah Hodgins. Bullet. He was a great pickup. We picked him up in the middle of the year. Played great. So now it's third and goal. Okay. We got to get the touchdown here. Third and goal. Touchdown. Wow. Th- that that play right there, Josh, Dude, is what I've been waiting to see. That whole drive, though. That whole drive was pristine. And seeing those plays from Daniel Jones, so watch. Like, the play doesn't work. The pocket breaks down. He's getting pressure from here and here. 
So he runs right. out of the pocket, and now that he runs, the defense that we can't see here, they're all breaking down too, and he just finds the right. open guy. And that's it. That's all you do. That's what Patrick Mahomes does. That's what Josh Allen does. That's what Joe Burrow does. Jesus, man. Gotta love that's to see it. That clip. Dude, that, that drive was just so well put it was together. Awesome. Every play like just worked. It was so man, then we, that's we get him out again though. We get the ball back. So we're moving down the field again. Daniel Bellinger's back, baby. Good to see him making plays. That was a nice play by Bellinger. Look at Jones, dude. Look at how fast. Look at this. <laughs> Look at how fast number ninety has oh, wow. number ninety has the angle. Look at this. Number ninety and Joe is that just big Jones. guy's too slow. <laughs> and then Jones just gets takes a big old hit. Uh, he's okay, though. But he's putting his yeah, body on the line, man. We got to get in the playoffs. Love this play. Yeah. This play, look at this. Ugh, such a nice throw. Sorry, I got to show that one again, wow. too. So, again, look at It's the same play design, though. Remember the one where they ran up the middle with Brita? Look at mm -hmm. Barkley. Brita's running around, and then Barkley looks like he takes the fake handoff. They don't give it to – oh, that's Slayton. But either way, it's that, like, double fake. Okay. Yeah. And then here goes our guy right here, I believe. Wow. It's just an awesome. Again, the play design, the play calling was really All well done. All of the done. play calling. This is like the Giants when they're at their best. Yeah. Everything is just working. So now, again, second goal. Need another touchdown here. Wow. Touchdown again. Go right back down the field, get another touchdown. Daniel Jones now has two passing touchdowns in the first half. Second and seven. Zimenez has got to get that tackle. O'Shane Zimenez, number 53. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, shoot. Is he going all the way? Oh, no. God, he went all the way back. So the cool thing about Landon Collins, can I, tell you, can I tell you a quick little story about Landon Collins? Sure, go ahead. So Landon Collins was drafted by the Giants. Um, I want to say in 2014, he was our safety. He was uh -huh. with us for a few years, and then after Eli Manning retired and the Giants kind of blew up the whole team, Landon went to Washington and never thought he'd come back, but he was always one of my favorite players. Found his way back on the team this year to replace Jabril Peppers and maybe play in a linebacker role. Um, and he worked his way up from the practice squad, wasn't getting a lot of playing time. Last week against Minnesota, he played great. And then he had this huge play. So kind of a Cinderella story to be drafted by the Giants, leave the Giants, be bummed he left the Giants, and now he's back. And then he makes this play. He's an older player. He's a vet. But what a great play. He almost reached 20 <laughs> miles an hour running, too. Isn't that awesome? Wait, what? Yeah, really? People measured that? Yeah, 19.74. I saw a stat. <laughs> it's just awesome to see. Yeah, that is awesome to see. My goodness. So now it's 21 to 3, not even halftime. Giants That's are just. That's when you texted me and you said, hey, look at the score. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Kayvon's. Oh, wow. Here is. So while Kayvon's making snowmans, Nick Foles yeah. is convulsing. Convulsing? He's about to throw up. What? Why? What? So what happened what? was. Kayvon didn't really do anything wrong. So what yeah, Kayvon what, didn't know he was convulsing. That's not fair. So Kayvon didn't know what was happening. This lineman just, completely goofed. <laughs> As you can see, Kayvon, his eyes are bigger than the moon right now. But when Nick Foles, the ball is right here. Nick Foles falls on the ball. And I want to say it, it maybe cracked a rib or sprained something. And so... Now Nick is on the ground. You can see. Watch. Yeah, but Kayvon look, doesn't know yet. Kayvon's look at, celebrating. He doesn't know. Kayvon, Kayvon's hand is rubbing up against him, though. Look at. <laughs> Kayvon yeah, knows he's not he getting up. Know, Kayvon he, he, then goes. He doesn't to, know. Kayvon then goes to the sideline and goes like this to the crowd, like I put him to sleep. Oh. And then he oh, went on some worse. podcast later in the evening and okay, talked about knocking a guy out. And so this okay, is what Kayvon got in trouble for. And so. I'm going to tell you my two points of view. From a Giants fan, I freaking love this stuff. I have been waiting for a pass rusher to kill quarterbacks for a long time as a Giants is fan. Is he okay, though? Nick Foles is very sore. The coach came out and said very, very tasteless by Kayvon. Bad Kayvon. 
Okay, well, I can't blame him for the snowflake. He doesn't even know what's going on at the moment. No, he, he tackled, doesn't. rolled over, and started a celebration. And it's an awesome play. You're going know. to the playoffs. But, but later on, to then do the whole sleeping thing and then say, be proud of the fact that you knocked somebody out, that I'm like, okay, now really, at this point. He didn't say he was proud. He just didn't, like, acknowledge that, hey, I probably should have, like, made sure he was okay. But Kayvon's a rookie, man. He's 21. He's just excited. It's a great play. Great read by Kayvon. And again, as a Giants fan... It's just nice to see a good pass rush, but as a football fan, yeah, it's tasteless. It is. It, it's not. I don't. I don't see it as tasteless because he didn't know. No, I, I think I if agree. he knew, if he knew there was a guy next to him convulsing on the ground, he probably would have reacted differently. He just went straight into celebration, which everybody would do. He doesn't know there's a guy right there knocked out, he, it... and until eventually he's like, oh, damn, he's in serious. There's something serious going on here. Like I so I, to call it tasteless is he doesn't know that's not fair that's not a fair assessment at all yeah in my opinion it's it's and, it's a but tough to one. later on to later on go and then know what happened and then be like oh yeah fuck him I'm glad I did that that's where I'm like okay that's not good yeah and again Kayvon didn't like say hey I'm happy I hurt him but Kayvon didn't like come out and say hey oh, I should okay. have like checked on him Kayvon didn't come out and say like the worst possible thing it's just not a great look but either way. Stopped him on third down, so we get the ball back. Let's watch Danny yeah. Dime. Falling! What? To make a play, man. He's been... To make a play. After, after what was going on, he was like basically half sacked. So again, third and five. Throw. We got 27 seconds left in the half. We're trying to go down and get a field goal. Again, look at this. He beats everyone! Gets the first down! The angles don't matter. He's too fast. Yeah, he's he's gotten fast. Faster? He, Has I, he gotten faster? <laughs> I don't know. And then that's just a great read. Because what, what's happening yeah. there is... And then I'll, I'll let more of this play. So this play, what the, defenders know, what the defense knows, you only got 20 seconds left. You got two timeouts. You're probably going to want to try to get out of bounds. So what mm -hmm. happens is the defenders are going to play over to the edges. And what does Jones do? Yeah. Look at how middle the open gets. Look at right here. Look at the, all this space. Look at all these guys. Right, because they're trying to play the uh, the out of bounds. Yep. And it gets a throw right up the middle. And then but you that means the clock's still running. You got to use a timeout. So they got to spike it or timeout. Yeah, okay. so they use a timeout. They got two, but you can see what the okay. thought was. Yeah. So then bring out the golden foot. And what does he do? <laughs> Nothing less than sweet, sweet perfection. <laughs> God bless him. The golden foot. That's what me and my girlfriend call him whenever we watch. We go, here comes the golden boot. All right, start the yeah. second half. First play, Darius Slayton loses the damn ball. Oh. It just couldn't be perfect. But, but and look at, look at them. They're all so excited. So now it's third down and nine. We got to stop him here. Oh, oh, imagine if oh. Kayvon caught it. Imagine. Dude, that would have been Dude, that would have been amazing. He has arrived, Josh. He has been playing Finally. so out of his mind well. Like, I'll have to find just the Kayvon highlights. Like, stuffing the run, chasing down the ball. And then look at this play. Again, I'm going to see. Can I slow this down? I'm pretty sure. That nah, doesn't matter. But just look at right. Look at that. The ball is right wow. here. He just couldn't. It, But it's too hard. Like, Oh it's no! Like five it, it's, foot away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's Still. really hard to catch that. And then they go for the field goal, and when you don't have the golden boot, you miss. Yep. So we get the ball back. <laughs> Twenty-four to three. Bring Holy out Danny. Boy. Second down and ten. Let Danny dime. Oh wow! Richie James, go. dude. He dude. Pl he played a great game. Oh no! No, the ball was down. He was down. But oh, great play oh, by Hodgins to pick it up and keep running. Daniel Bellinger, great yeah, game hold by on the to way. That damn ball, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, we having problems with dropping the ball on passes. So what do we got? This is second and five. Oh really? He's just gonna. Oh, and it works. Get out of bounds, dude. Touchdown. Jesus. Got the touchdown. He's such a great. <laughs> but he's taking the hits, Josh. So we're he's watching like the game, and I'm like, hits. stop taking the dude, hits. There's like, there's like three people charging at him, and he's like, no, I'm going for the touchdown. And I'm that's why I'm like, dude, get out of bounds before you get freaking waylaid. Dude, it, it only, trust me, it gets better. But this is, again, we talk about this a lot. Daniel Jones, this is a design run. Saquon never is going to take this ball. This is all Jones. And, again, you get Feliciano. And Dude, then look at this. And then, and then Dimes goes. And I'm, Dimes it. doesn't care. He just wants the touchdown. Boom. 
Damn. Dude, Remind me at the go. end of this film. I have a. I have my proclamation at the end of the film here. Okay. Third down if and three. He keeps doing shit like that. He's gonna get rocked and it's gonna be injured. Yeah. Yeah. Knock on wood. He keeps being that daring. But remember, we win this game, we go to the playoffs. Now, this is the backup quarterback. I know, but at this point, it's just like, you know what? Just have good defense, and we're, we're fine. 31-3. It, to three, like. Now, look at the The offense is marching down the field. They go for it on fourth and one. Of course. They have no choice. Our defense still has problems. They, didn't, they played well, but this team is marching down the field right now. Third down and 16. Yep. And we, we stop them. But they go for it. Fourth and six. We got to stop them. Fourth down and six. And they get it. Oh. I mean, it's we're fine. so far ahead. Yeah, though. no, it's it's okay. That, 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 that's, that's, four what, touchdowns. That, that's what we were saying yesterday. It was like, okay. But again, I wanted to show this drive because the defense needs to clamp up here. And then they get the touchdown. Yeah. They so get now, an easy touchdown, too. Yeah. It's almost like we gave it to him. Well, if you watch Fabian Moreau, he, he watch Moreau. He's right here. There's a guy who gets he's a touchdown. Falling? Watch. He just falls. Oh, okay. Just just bad, bad coverage. You just got to – I don't know why you're playing so tight. Just give him a little space, and then kind of you can jump the route or something. It's it's a younger quarterback. He's not – he's kind of green. But either way, Jones has the ball back. There's Barkley. That's a nice run. Barkley had a good game. He just didn't do a whole lot, but that's okay. Let Barkley get some rest. I was like, let's say Barkley for next week. Jones again with the ball here. Fakes out the cameraman. He kept it himself. Wow. Fakes out the cameraman. Yeah, well, look at the cameraman. <laughs> like, well, look at the no cameraman. Way you're going to try to juke that guy. Look at this. The cameraman thinks it's Barkley. He goes, yeah. oh, shit. <laughs> and this is the slide I like to see. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Good job, Jones, or you're going to get freaking injured. Yeah, it's so now fourth quarter. Here we go again, dude. See, Throw the flag. You can't do yeah, that. You that, can't that, hit that, the quarterback. That, he slid. I, that was more on the defense. Yep. That was the defense that did that. Second goal. Keeps it himself. What does he decide to do? Ooh, what a block. Does he care about this? <laughs> does he nope. <laughs> Does he get it? Oh, hell yeah, he got it. Wait till you see. He got it? He got his little foot in there. Oh, they didn't show it, but he gets his little foot. That's the fourth touchdown for the guy. Jesus. 38 to 10. He's like a super superstar this day. Today. It, 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 and He's like dude, play, he, playing better than Tom Brady. He took the game by the horns. Hell yeah. <sighs> so... Again, our defense has given up big chunk plays. I was one. Eh. Yeah. Again, it was just a little concerning how easily the Colts were moving the ball, but the defense is kind of – they're like playing, don't give up the score. But it is nice to see only four rushers and then a lot of defense here. Throw behind, and then you got to get this tackle. That's a great job by the right. defense. Third down 13, yeah, that's a nice that job. That was a good stop. Yeah. So then Daniel Jones now is not in the game. Safe oh, one. they said, okay, take him out, yeah. So what they, did, what they did is Jones went out there, he ran one play. And then they changed him, and it's called like a it's called a, like a curtain call or whatever. And Jones walks off the field, and all of the Giants Stadium stood up and started clapping for Daniel Jones and che screaming his name because this win got us in the playoffs. And Jones has had such a tough few years. The thing I wanted to say is Daniel Jones 100% deserves to be back next year as our quarterback and should be back. The film reviews, Josh, we have done, and the ones we've missed, Daniel Jones has proven he should be our quarterback next year. That is my proclamation. Remember at the beginning. Of the year we were trying to say and trying to figure out what he needs to do he's gotten this team yeah. nine wins he won this game by himself on his arm and on his feet absolutely yep. deserves it and everyone is in agreement with that on giants twitter giants content creators only the fringe daniel jones haters don't think he should be back i just want to say jones should be back next year as our quarterback that was my yeah, bold I, proclamation yeah. after this game the way he played absolutely so now we got yeah, all the backups in. But watch Brita. I just got to give Matt Brita. Look at this guy. He's pretty fast, dude. He's way faster than the. Uh, and look at he takes oh, the knee. Trip. He, well, no, no, oh, he, he, he took, took a, a knee. knee. Okay. Burns the clock. Gets the first down. That's all we're trying to do. What do you do again? Just run it again. Look at this. Watch. Look at what? this dude. 
What? Look at no this dude. No way. He's got to be back. What a great backup oh running back. He's a God, beast. Dude, he is a beast, man. We got a good backup running back. Look at him. Damn. The only thing is I think he's a little bit smaller than Saquon. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. And then here's – here's a. Uh, and by the way, that number two, our backup quarterback, is really small. Yeah, yeah, Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, he's not a big guy. He's a good backup. So now 38 yeah. seconds left. They run it off, and I think they just let the clock burn. I think they call the game. Yeah. 38 to 10. To 38, yeah. And so they call the game. Dable gets the Gatorade poured on his Layoffs, head. Playoffs, baby. And so the other great thing, I want to give a shout-out to Alex Wilson, if he ever sees this. Alex Wilson tweeted, I wish my fiance looked at me the way Brian Dable looks at Daniel Jones. Just look at Dable's face as Joan walks in after the last touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> look at the love. <laughs> I wish my fiance <laughs> looked at me the way Brian Dable. <laughs> I do. I wish Liv looked at me that way if she ever listens to this. <laughs> so... Oh, uh, just God, an awesome, great. awesome game. Giants are in the playoffs. Um, the final thing, I, or the final piece to touch on this is next week we play the Philadelphia Eagles. And I want to build a little right. bit of this before. If the Giants win or lose, it legitimately does not matter at all. We are in the playoffs. Today, we math, yeah. th- this week, we mathematically clinched a playoff spot. So now so the question is... Play. So I'm going to tell you why we should let the starters play and why I would not bench anybody. First reason, we are not a Super Bowl team. We are a young team. We are a young... Let me... Josh, just hear me out here, okay? I'm going to build the whole case, and then you can go the other way, okay? We are a young team that has overachieved way more than anyone believed. We know that. So let the young guys play. Secondly... It's against the Philadelphia Eagles. One, they are our heated rival. Two, they embarrassed us four weeks ago in MetLife. Remember how much they beat us by? It was like this game, 38 to 10. Finally, they're the best team in the NFC, arguably. Why not let your starters go, see how they do, and get more film so these guys can learn more before the playoffs? And finally, when the Giants won the Super Bowl in 2007, we went up against the Patriots, who were trying to get a perfect season. Same situation, same situation. We had clinched the playoffs, and Tom Coughlin played all of our starters. We lost that game by three points, but it propelled us to a Super Bowl win. Start your starters because I don't want anyone to get rusty. I want these guys to get all the opportunities to play good football teams. The Eagles are a good football team. Screw the Eagles. If we beat them, they are not the first seed anymore. They don't get a bye week, which would be so funny. And finally, it's a young team. That's why I say play the starters. But as a referendum, if Dable decides to sit some guys, I will not complain at all. That is just my opinion. I'm not the head coach. Whatever they decide to do, that is fine. But if it was me, I would tell the guys, hey, we're playing to win. We are a winning football team, and winners don't quit when there's nothing on the line. We have a lot we can learn by playing the Eagles, who we may have to play in the playoffs. That's my um, until Daniel I Jones think, gets hurt and then we lose the whole season and I look like an ass. But that's yeah, okay. I, I think uh, we really want to do well in the playoffs. And in terms of what matters, I think the playoffs is all that really matters. And I, my opinion is to rest your good guys, rest the guys that, that give them that extra week of rest. That way they can come in full, 100% on, on – uh, because it's been a long season, man. <laughs> It's been, you know, seven, 16 games already. We're about to go into game, game 17. It's been a long-ass season. Give them one week of rest uh, and uh, come into the playoffs fully charged. And um, I, think Dable so, sh- I think Dable should talk to the players, see what the captains think. But I just, I just think you have a young team and you get to play the Eagles. That's a great gauge to see where you are before the playoffs. See how you stack up. I don't know. But either way, we'll see. That's now going to be the conversation but it'd be so fun to beat the Eagles in the last week of the football season, Josh. And then if we beat them, they don't get the first seed. You know how awesome that would be? So the way it works is there's like seven seeds in the playoffs. Uh-huh. And if you're the number one seed, then you get a bye week. So if we beat the Eagles, they don't get a bye week. Oh, they don't get a bye week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd kick them out of the first seed. So either way, 
you know what? It doesn't even matter. The fact that we made the playoffs, man, is awesome. It's just really Dude, cool that we get to watch. It's them. insane. And I sent you a clip. I'm going to bring this up on the episode here. I sent you a clip of an old YouTube video that we made many weeks ago. And uh, it was where we were talking about our predictions for the season. And we were talking about it was right when the schedule came out. Here, let me pull it up. Let and, me pull it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's just let the video do the talking. <laughs> yeah. Here, we're going to do it. You got to put the audio on for sure. Yeah. 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 It's also, yeah. Uh, sh no, not share a clip. I just want to watch the clip. Oh, man. Look at these handsome guys. I know, right? All right. Um, oh, you might not be able to hear it, though, because I think I'm sharing my screen. Um, here, do you want to open the clip up on yours just so that you can hear it with me? We'll count down from three. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, one sec. Let yeah, take your up. time. I am the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I predicted this shit. I love uh, it. Oh, man, All it's right. the old apartment right there. All right. All right, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. So then going into the bye week, Josh, where are we at for our records? Uh, mine's way too high. Mine is at six and two. <laughs> That's and where we were. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. If we're at six and two at the bye week, I will be on the ground crying. Crying. <laughs> Good God, dude! Six yeah, we're we, probably not gonna win that Dallas game, you know. Well, hey, we you didn't. Said it. You yeah. said it. No, I, said it. Okay. I think you're gonna be 13 and three. But it, so then going. Yeah, so, damn, dude! Okay. I love dude, that though. We were laughing at being six and two. We were like making fun of it. Yeah. Like, there's no way we're gonna be six and two at the bye week, oh, and we were. Lord, yeah. And we were six and two. We neither one of us called the exact games that we yeah. were gonna win and lose, but we were six and. I two. I think I had us at nine and eight, by the way, and I think we're gonna. Finish, we did. We both were at nine and eight. And we're either gonna that, finish ten six and one or nine seven and one. Yeah. So technically, if we lose, if we lose, we'd then be our closer. Prediction was correct on the record. As far as the record goes, but Damn. if we win, it'll be better than our record. And and I watched further into the end of the clip, and at the very end of this video where we said, "Okay, we're both at nine and eight for the season," I remember what I watched it just yesterday. You said, "Hmm, I don't know. That sounds too optimistic." <laughs> uh, dude, it, dude, it really did. And you know, Saquon yeah. Saquon said something in his press conference yesterday, actually, too. Saquon said, "The only people that believed in this team were the people in this building." And it really is well, true. Not true. Yeah, yeah. Fucking and and, and, you, and well, and you, you were definitely high on this team. Um, Hell no, yeah. it's been, dude. It, you know, let's let's close with this here. You know, it's been a tough couple of years being a Giants fan. Um, I started. I really became a full blown Giants fan in 2016. We went to the playoffs that year, and ever since then, it's just been absolutely miserable. Um, and you know, it's just nice to you know be on the other side of this now and. You know, we said at the beginning, we have the right coach and the right GM, and now we just need to figure out if we have the right team. And I can tell you, we have the right quarterback. I, I am sold on Daniel Jones, man. I, he stepped up to the plate yesterday, and it was ridiculous how well he played. It really was, and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing him again in future seasons. But one thing I wanted to bring up is that apparently the Giants play the Eagles on Sunday, January 8th, but from what I can see, there is no time yet. It says to be determined. So yeah, so they save some of these. So what the NFL does is when they create the schedule, they don't know what games at the end of the season will be meaningful. So, for example, like last night, um, or like basically they don't know if the Giants are going to be 9-6-1 and six and one like we are or 4-10. and 10. And so yeah. what they do is they basically say, okay, if they're four and 10, we'll make them play at one o'clock, but they might flex us into an eight o'clock game. Like they did with the Washington game a few weeks ago. Right. So that, that's why it says TBD. It would, it wouldn't shock me if it's a one o'clock game. I kind of hope it's because it doesn't technically matter. Yeah. 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 There's going to be other games that teams are playing for playoff spots. So like the right, Patriots. Right. Those will be get playing. prime time. Yeah. Yeah. Those will be our uh, teams playing for seeds because it, if you're like the Bengals, the chiefs or the bills, you want the one seed because you get the buy and then you get to play at home. Um, so um, I hope the giants are at one. I'll be very honest. The giants play well when no one's looking at them, but 
Um, the Eagles have lost two games in a row now, and I really want to play our starters and kick the shit out of them. That'd be so fun. That'd be a great way to end the season. Either um, way, I'll be happy. I just don't want any of our starters to, to get, get injured, injured right before yeah. the playoffs. I Man, I couldn't agree with you more. And you know what? Luckily, we're not the coaches. We don't have to make a decision. And no matter what the coaches decide, yeah. if it goes poorly, they'll be criticized for it. It's one of those things, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? What happens if the coaches don't play their starters and we play like shit in the first playoff game and lose anyway? Or what happens but if it's we... it's not the first playoff game. It's the last game of the season. No, but what if we bench our guys next week and then they're all rusty when we come back for the first playoff game? Rusty from just a week of... It could, dude. It absolutely could. Sometimes teams that get a bye week come back rusty and then don't win. Very rarely the one seed goes to the Super Bowl because that week off is sometimes more damning than, than productive. You think? It could be. It could be. Or mm. Daniel Jones could run into a linebacker again and get his clock knocked out of his head and be done for the year. You just don't know. And so yeah. luckily we don't have to make the decision. But I have a cave on yeah. jersey. But today I had to wear the Daniel Jones jersey. He's our quarterback Dude. next year. He deserves everything. Um, he deserves a big contract. Should stay with the Giants for at least four years, I think. Maybe um, get out from under it in two. But... It was just awesome to see the Giants win. And it was fun to watch the Giants win a game that wasn't close. It was fun to be up 24-3 at halftime. Be like, all right, let me pop back here. I'm going to sit back, <laughs> crack open a beer, get a cigar, and just watch this game. Um, that was nice. We, yeah. haven't, we haven't had that in a long time. So kudos to Brian Dable, Joe Shane. They've already gone in the right direction. Um, and also, if we don't win the first playoff game, that's totally fine. But I think we're going to be going up against the Vikings, who we only lost to by a 61-yard field goal two weeks ago. And we had three turnovers in that game. If we can just eliminate the turnovers, I think we can beat the Vikings. So we could very well win a playoff game, which then, geez, Daniel Jones might go to another team because they might offer him more money at that point. So, Jeez. Do you, do you think the Vikings will be our first playoff game? That's yeah, so the, the way the way the seeding works is the first seed will get a bye, and then the second seed will play the seventh. Se right, the third play the, the sixth, and the or yeah, yep, third plays the sixth, fourth plays the fifth, and yeah. so we are in the sixth seed no matter what. So the way it works is you have four divisions in football, like in each conference. So there's like the uh, north, south, east, and west. Those are the uh -huh. top four seeds, and that's just by record. And then there's three wild card teams, which are teams that didn't win their division, but should be in the playoffs because how good their record is. So the Cowboys, right. for example, they have a really good record. They're not going to, the best they can be is the fifth seed because the Eagles won the division. So they're one. And then you have the South, North, and West, and mm -hmm. then the Cowboys. So, um, yeah. So basically, we'll play the Vikings because they're, they're the third seed. They won their division, but the Eagles and the Niners have better records than them. So it's it's kind yeah. of complicated how it works. But basically, right, yeah. as a Giants fan, I'd love to play the Vikings. I really don't want to play the 49ers. So yesterday, after the Giants won, the 49ers won and the Vikings lost, which means the Niners moved up to number two and the Vikings came down to number three, which was perfect for the Giants. So yesterday was really a good football day. And the Eagles lost, which was fun to watch. So it was all uh, around great. It's fun to watch. Oh, always, especially yeah. against the hapless Saints. God, it was beautiful. Um but on that note, Josh, we've been calling it all year. It's just nice to be able to take and have a little bit of recognition. It was nice to do one of these. It's been a little bit. Um, we'll definitely, I think, you know, try to do more giant stuff here as the season closes out and then probably step away a little bit, focus on the streaming. Josh will focus on his stuff with his, with his YouTube channel. And then mm -hmm. as the draft comes up, we'll probably restart and look and see and all that fun stuff again. It'll be kind of fun to do that again now that the Giants are a it competitive football team. And also with the signings, there's people to bring back. It'll be a, it'll be a good time. So A hell of a good time, especially having a full season under our belt. Yeah, That'd exactly, exactly. So, But either way, Josh, thanks for joining us. Guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, all of his information will be down below. Um, and we hope you like, like, subscribe, and comment. And we will catch you on the next one. Go Giants. Giants.